stair step maneuver. Try run. Ah, what a great fight. All right, guys, buckle up because today we're going deep. We are going to talk about what's called roll aim. Now this is one of your fundamental aiming skills that you need to understand when it comes to dogfighting. So let's get right into it. So the fundamental behind this style is very simply, don't look at the orientation of the enemy target, look at the direction that their drift angle is pushing in. So on this point right here, we notice that as he's rolling, there we go, now we're lined up. His direction of movement is in line with our pitch as we pull onto target. Now we're going to start to close the distance. You'll see the vector indicator start to come to center. And once it gets to center, we roll to the other side and we start to pull our nose up as we begin our circle. Now here, he's, he's pushing to his left, but on my screen, you can notice that as he tries to change his vector, now he's coming to the right again and I roll to the right. Now he's going to the left again. You'll see I roll to the left to match his velocity, so I'm always pulling up. Now that I've matched his movement, he rolls again. I match it with my own roll. Now, right here, I'm matching it as best I can, and we're just closing, closing, closing distance again in pitch the whole time, getting my guns up, not looking too much about his vector, not looking too much about where his nose is going right now because what we're looking at is the direction that his ship is moving in. So here's a, a blow past as he figures out, ooh, I got some distance here and I'm going to close the distance again. Again, look at the pattern. He's now moving down on my screen. So now I roll as hard as I can to get in position here. Roll again as I start to see him move. Now if he had to up, like if he upstraped hard here, I would have to roll to the left 180 degrees, but because I've got a good momentum going, I've got a good position, I'm able to kind of keep him inside the bubble, right? Now here we go, we see him start to move. I'm rolling so that I'm in line with the direction of his movement. I'm taking hits now, so now I go evasive. I'm rolling out of that spot because I don't want to take any hits unnecessarily. Switch power into my guns, and once again, I match his roll or my role with the direction that his ship is currently drifting in. So he's drifting on my screen now, again, up. But to him, he's drifting to the left. You see the orientation of his ship. So again, we're setting our pattern. We're rolling always. See, he's starting to slowly move to the left of my screen, so I roll again. Now he starts to move to the right. I roll back to the right. I'm constantly, constantly changing my vector to match whatever he is doing with the direction that his ship is moving in regardless of the position of his nose. His position of his nose tells me whether he's in a position to aggress me or a position to push on me or he's trying to go up defensive or try to run away. That's what our nose position tells us. But our trackability, what we do to track our target relies on us looking at the direction that he is moving in and then rolling precisely to counter and cancel so we get the best shot we can and we bullseye our target. This right here, guys, is one of your fundamental aiming skills that you must learn if you'd like to be or want to be an effective dogfighter. That's all I got for you today, guys. A short and sweet video, but it's so important. Watch this video over and over and over again if it's not sinking in because I don't want to overcomplicate it I want to drive the point home simply and effectively in five minutes or less 
But if you don't get it the first time, keep watching this video. Remember, it's about vector cancellation and movement so that it's easier for us to track and pitch. And any movement he does, we counter with a proper roll to get into position so that there's no issues with weapon inaccuracies, fixed assist problems, or anything like that. We want to get the best shot we can. How we do that is we roll to cancel the movement vector. All right, guys. Hope to see you all up for stream. I hope you learned something today. I hope you were entertained. I was Avenger 1. Take a take a look at actually Predator mounts, you guys, if you're looking at something to buy to mount your sticks to the desk. It's the ones I use. They're absolutely fantastic. And I hope to see all you folks in the next video.